Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench. Um, today I'm going to do something new, uh, new for me to do and new for you to watch. I'm going to make an um, uh, indicator. Um, I came up with this idea uh, uh, later in the summer of you know 2015. Uh, by then, um, I've been uh, disappointed with uh, several uh, couple of you know uh, uh, products in the market, and then uh, you know some just um, you know popped off. You know as I cast uh, the other type, you know. Uh, um, uh, cause other type, you know, uh, causes kinks on my leader, or uh, especially those balloon types, you know, cause a uh, lots of props, you know, on the water. I don't really like it. Then, um, um, but then again, those uh, yarn indicator, um, you know, inline yarn indicator is a bit kind of. Uh, especially for the fishing guys it's it's a bit um, um, uh, hard for us to so so time consuming for us to ring it you know inline indicator inline yarn indicator is so I just wanted to come up with something and then the, um, <coughs> this idea really works so uh, it's really simple okay material is, materials we are using is first is a thread I'm going to use a six saw this is just black, but pretty much you can use anything. And then uh, next thing you're gonna you'll be needing is this. Um, this is uh, articulation shank. Oh, this is called articulation shank. You know, of for to make articulate articulated you know streamers, uh, either this size or uh, either one. Okay, much shorter. That I cut. Uh, some around here and then to make like um, is it like that or like like this this is a bit shorter you know this is a bit shorter than this one so uh, you see why I made I made this one, you know, a bit shorter. So uh, then uh, let's start from a uh, longer one. And then uh, as the name indicated, SY, um, uh, SY indicator, it's not just my initial, it's more like a synthetic yarn. So uh, you can use uh, synthetic, any synthetic fiber that repels water really well, you know, with your back cast. So what I use is, this is, the, this uh, EP fiber gray, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate with a uh, kind of pink, and then um, also you can use such as like uh, uh, widow's web from Montana Fly. Um, those ones that we can you know come in a big bundle, and then uh, we can select you know we can uh, select the uh, you know uh, size you know. Uh, bundle you know for our needs that's a that's the materials you know you need so let's get uh, started okay I um, um, I wrapped my thread to the uh, uh, very end of the shank here, you know, before the loop. And I I, pros I moved my thread probably four, even the five wraps toward this way. And then, uh, oh, probably I'd better going on, I'd better explain. Um, see, I, I like this one because, see, uh, uh, you could use some, um, you know, maybe a big old streamer hook that you don't use anymore probably but still I don't think the uh, the uh, um, um, size of the uh, eye uh, wouldn't be big enough and then if, if, if that's a regular loop eye it's gonna slip off you know um, uh, it yeah it's gonna it's gonna slip off from the leader so uh, this one is you know uh, recommended uh, yeah, articulation strength. So, uh, the amount, you know, 
or of the fibers or the thickness of the you know finished product is totally up to you know type of water you are fishing and also the uh, what kind of you know what size of fry ring uh, fry rods you are using you know if you have a heavier heavier rod stronger rod that you can that you can cast you know a heavier fly and then and then the air resistance you know fluff indicator then uh, you can make it really big but uh, typically around here uh, we use five weight six weight for you know nymphing uh, then uh, so uh, this is what I use and then um, um, first what I do is a part in two just just like that then uh, without um, uh, hitting the you know these tips now I pinch it so it's on both sides now and then now from here I'm gonna fold the forward fold in two and I push all the way touching this you know where to the eye of the shank and I hold that and that I moved my uh, thread four or five times ahead four or five wraps ahead so um, here we go if you want to you can whip finish you know to but uh, we're gonna glue it so it doesn't really matter just make a good wrap then from here again parting two and then uh, move my thread somewhere around here so you can see like uh, like that one thread up here but it's gonna be um, <clears throat> It's gonna be glued, so. All right. I moved my camera a little bit, and then I pick up about uh, definitely the um, this is the same bundle, same thickness. So basically, I'm doubling the, uh, you know, uh, what I got now. Same thing, I'm going to uh, split in two. Then uh, I don't want to block the camera view, so let's say um, I split on the top rather than protruding it towards the camera. So I again um, split in the two and avoiding the tip of the uh, shank, then fold over. And push as much as I can. Yeah, it must be it must be touching the uh, you know the fast uh, uh, fast fibers uh, that I attach. Okay. So yeah, it sits really well. So now I'm going to move again. All right, I'm gonna uh, part you know up and down. No, definitely not towards the camera here. Okay, now my uh, uh, thread is uh, very tip. So uh, of the of the of the shank, certainly you want to attach one more game if you um, um, if you want to if you want to make a really big one. So okay, all I gotta do is we finish. I'm definitely let me tell you I'm uh, I'm taking a lot because I'm um, taking longer because I'm talking but uh, this is really easy to make probably I can make you know uh, oh, uh, some might come off but uh, some fibers might come off then I Put the indicator in the here on the top on the top of the top where I will finish. Then I put in the middle, so I can uh, pull forward everything. So this is gonna lock, you know, uh, this is gonna merge, lock and merge uh, the uh, the uh, first bundle and then the second bundle like that. Then I'm gonna attach very last dip on the uh, the base, you know, of the wrap. Here we go, with zapper gap. 
then just trim it. This actually can be done at the stream, of course. Here we go. Here's a pink. And then uh, if you don't like it, uh, you know, you can go in and trim inside a little bit or much shorter. You can do that. Yeah. So this shouldn't come off. And then, uh, so I guess I explained more a lot already. The next one is really, let's do really quick. So now use the, let's, let's use a shorter one here. Shorter one is of course for the smaller indicator. Like I would use like um, I would use for um, 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 you know like a suspend like a mid pupa or cardis pupa. You know uh, maybe a foot uh, or even a three feet uh, below the you know water surface. This is the same bundle that I use for the you know fast uh, bigger larger one but i i would maybe not quite have maybe a third you know i took i take it off then do the uh, same thing put in a half just about half then at the base fold over make a good drop then I will go I would part then just uh, we finish Again, uh, tap a gap on the where where it's we finished. This and pull. This gonna um, keep the base of all of these fibers, you know, uh, um, uh, this way. So then again, uh, apply at the base. So. See, this is much shorter and then uh, shorter and then the smaller here we go see the difference in spite of you know the distance i'm showing so and then um you can certainly make a uh, uh, black black is uh black can be um 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 uh, effective you know under the dark condition you know when the sun is about just about to set in the you know west you know then uh, um, we are seeing the shadow also we can mix up like like that uh, uh, an another color I'm getting is uh, yellow orange uh, chartreuse or probably in a plain white so uh, this is how to make SY uh, indicator so well, uh, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to ring it.